everyone and welcome back to LEGO Weaponry. Today I've made a pistol, well, it's kind of similar to a blunderbuss, but it's normal. Well, this one, it, well, instead of firing projectiles, it fires just one lead ball. So technically, well, it's a shorter conversion of a rifle, technically, but it's a pistol. Anyway, enough of me yapping on about detail and depth and all that. I've made this pistol for you guys today, and funny enough, this pistol was made around in the 17th century, most probably. That's quite old for what it is. But not as old as the Beretta. Oh no, this that was made in the 15th century. In, well, back in the year 1500. And that's a long time, and apparently, that's the oldest company of all. But I'm not here to talk about that company. I'm here to talk about this pistol. So, let's show you this good old pistol, shall we? Oh yes, here it is. This, I believe, is a flintlock musket pistol. Oh yes, I, I don't mind these good old pistols, you know. Well, they may not be used to, in today's standards, but they are used for either sporting, hunting, or for like target practice or whatever. Or, they are collected by like enthusiasts of this particular firearm. But either way, I'm quite curious on the facts and similarities of this pistol. So, let's have a look, shall we? Cool stuff. Right, let's show you the areas and the features of this pistol. First things first, well, I'd like to say this one thing. I don't know if this is true and all, but once you fired your rounds and you're out of, like, lead balls or whatever, you could use this as, like, a self-defense weapon, like, change it into, like, a hammer or something. I'm not so sure. The fact that it has, like, a metal plating here for, like, more, you know, impact on the well, in the area of the body or whatever, I don't know. But either way, feel free to leave in the comments below, see if I'm right or wrong. You know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But either way, let's show you the rest of this pistol. Right. Trigger guard right there. And once again, this trigger does move this piece here. I've forgotten what this piece was called, either way. But I'll show you these two moving parts near the end, so make sure you're there. This part here is... Oh, I've forgotten the name of it now. But, once again, this does shove the gunpowder and the lead ball down to down the bottom of the barrel. Like so. Pretty darn cool. That mostly fits in, like so. And, um, I found out what this part was called. This is called a frizzen. Oh yes, it's a strange name for what it is. But either way, let's show you on how the trigger works. Right. This is the only best part of the gun anyway, so... Look so. Bam. Look so. Pretty darn cool. It may not be correct in every way, like this area here. I know that this frizzen here is supposed to be an L-shaped piece. So like, it moves to this point. It's like... Forget it. Anyway, there should be a pan here which the spark reaches up to so that it can reach the gunpowder and everything, if that makes any sense at all. And it should get inside the barrel and everything and ignite the stuff inside, so yeah, that's how muskets or flintlocks work. But either way, hope you found the facts interesting and this episode interesting as well. So yes, either way. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this good old episode. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below on what you think this episode should help me a lot. But if you really liked it, wanna subscribe to my channel and keep the channel growing. Should really help me a lot as well. Oh yes, keep up to date with videos that I do as well. Oh yes. Feel free to share this video really around, spread the word and let it be heard. And also, feel free to check out the links in the description below. Oh yes, they are home pages to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, and all that crap you don't need to know much about. 
So yeah, feel free to check those out. All I do in those home pages are posts and messages based around the channel, like updates and all that stuff. So yes, feel free to check those out. And yes, join me tomorrow, which would be, unfortunately, the last model that I'll be making for this year. Oh yes, it's a bit of an unfortunate way of doing things. But, you know, sometimes you have to move on and stuff, so yes. Besides, I gotta do other things, like montages, within the last couple of weeks that are going on, so yeah. I'll be busy with those, but yes, feel free to join me tomorrow as I'll be showing you the last model that I'll be ever making, unfortunately. You know, frowny face. Anyway, enough me yapping, so yeah, join me tomorrow for that. And as always, enjoy the rest of your days. Salute!